question that bothers me. You know, often art seems to be for the rich and famous. Uh, we talk of art galleries, art consultants, art dealers. We talk of lakhs of rupees for pieces of art. Uh, is, is really art becoming the playground of the rich and the famous? I disagree. I mean, because that's one reason, like, I mean, see, for example, like, I mean, 2000, uh, you know, early 2000, we saw art boom happening in India. So we saw like, I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, takers for, you know, all kinds of art and you know, there were a lot of investors came in and a lot of international platforms came in. So that it, it almost sounded like, I mean, you know, art was getting liberated from like, I mean, you know, exclusivity. I mean, people who had even like small disposable income started collecting it. I mean, there were a lot of forums which was going up. Then you see like, I mean, something like, uh, you know, a recession hits in 2008, what happens that time? That's when people started realizing that, I mean, we cannot depend fully on a market to kind of enjoy art. I mean, we need to find alternate site to kind of produce, which is not normally about like the commerce of it. So you need to do, you need to have a site to experiment. We need to, you know, we need to have a site to, you know, storytelling. It's not just to, you know, produce a work of art, which goes into somebody's drawing room. I mean, it's art can be perishable. Art can be an experience. So I remember like, I mean, in 2008, 2009, there were a lot of conversations among our friends that, I mean, what do you do now? I mean, because, you know, the, the market has gone down, art is not selling, but we need to create one's own ecosystem. That ecosystem is where, I mean, for example, we have museums like Kerala Museum, which is operational in Kerala. But what happens there is like, unless and until you create a community around that, you know, that community, you can call it also as a neighborhood. So that's what, you know, sustains, uh, uh, you know, projects like this. So the, the elitism gets, uh, you know, deleted. I mean, I will again go back to, you know, what, we, what was our initial conversations with the government of Kerala in 2010, when we thought of like, I mean, bringing a project like Biennale, which is non-commercial, which is almost like a kind of celebration of like I mean, experimentation, multi you know, disciplinary practices. It was similar to the triennial which happened in 1968 in Delhi under the leadership of I mean, you know, the ideas of Nehru. So it was a site that we opened up. You know? So we were also opening up and inviting different kinds of art practices, which is not about like, I mean, being, you know, inviting a custodian for it. See, we had five lakh visitors. I mean, and how many of them are the patrons or the buyers of it? I mean, you know, maybe, you know, 100, 200. So you have, see, so you have to create uh, sites to have, to break these notions that, I mean, artists uh, and elitist uh, uh, exercise. It's not, I mean, I don't think so. Uh, you know, uh, the most of the art which you see.